Sailing plans change sometimes in the middle of the journey, mostly due to unforeseen circumstances. In this video, you'll learn how our sail plan changed approximately 45 minutes into our sail. I know a place where we can go and be We left our marina and motored through the Bridge of Lions, which is a bascule bridge or a drawbridge in downtown St. Augustine. As we were motoring towards the next bridge, a fixed bridge, we hit bottom. The current spun us around and we were stuck on another sandbar. It was at this point we changed our sail plan. In today's video, you will see our family motor sail up to Jekyll Island, Georgia in the Atlantic Ocean. What you will not see is how we were all very seasick because we got caught up in the wash tub effect of the Cumberland River outlet. This caused our boat to be tossed around and almost required a mayday call from our captain to the U.S. Coast Guard. Scarlett, look at Daddy. Hi, honey. I know she's seasick. We are in the Atlantic Ocean, right girls? Yeah. Yep. And where are we going? Yay. Yay! Brandon! Gonna see Brandon. The dogs are there. We still have sight of land. Okay. I can There's see our the line. Amber's asleep. Amber's asleep, yup. This is our positioning. There's my uncle, our special guest. And there's our captain. Yay! And look at this beautiful water. And we are motoring because the wind is not in our favor. Daddy. Hey, baby girl, come here. Not in our favor. Careful, careful, but careful. But Esma is doing amazing. Okay. During our 14-hour journey, we were able to see dolphins helping us lead the way, learn how to cast a fishing line, and visualize a beautiful sunset that the twins have never seen before. We also realized that a change in the sail plan can be the cause of needing an emergency rescue. As the boat was being tossed around approximately five miles offshore, there were moments where we all reconsidered our decision to make this trip and to even sail the world. Our confidence was definitely shaken. We turned out of the Atlantic Ocean and back into the ICW to continue towards the marina we were going to be staying at for the weekend while in the dark. There were no lights to assist us to find the entrance to the ICW. This was not filmed as it was black outside, meaning zero visibility. We ended up going in circles. I finally was on the bow with a flashlight while we were following the navigation system that is currently on our boat. The current navigation system is an old Garmin, which we found out after this trip is discontinued. We kept losing its signal and therefore we kept losing our path in the channel. After an hour of being scared and what felt like being lost, we finally found our marina and tied up to the dock. While our time in Georgia was brief, we had a relaxing stay with my son visiting us for an overnight stay on the boat. During this time, unfortunately, we had problems with the marine air conditioning and the temperature on the boat reached about 100 degrees. After leaving Jekyll Island, we made the smart decision to stay within the ICW, which is the intercoastal waterway that goes from Maine to Florida. We were leaving Jekyll Island, heading south 
towards Jacksonville, which was going to be our first stop with an overnight stay. We were going to dock at the City Marina right there at Ferdinand Beach and Amelia Island for the girls to have some time, play on the beach, draw in the sand, and chase the dogs around. This is one of the bridges that we're going through here, coming off of Amelia Island. So cool. Can we take a video when, it's, when we're going under? Of course. So, today we're going under this bridge and going back to our regular. Marina. Uh huh. And so when we go back there, we're gonna be um we're gonna be meeting our old friend that because we can go in a hospital with us very much. So this is the train bridge here. Um, this stays open all the time unless there's a train coming and it will close so the train can go over the river. But I haven't heard a train. Nobody's heard it and we've actually did some research to see who to contact to say, hey, we're going through. There is nobody. So if inadvertently a train starts coming and the bridge starts closing, it's going to be a hard turn port <laughs> to get away to from the the bridge that's closing so we don't smack into a train. Yeah, so. Is the bridge open? It's, it is open right now. You can take a look at it, you see? Is that a train? No, that is called a train trellis. So it's not a train, but it's the so this will be our first time going under a um, a bridge underpass with this boat. We will get it on the survey. And, uh, <laughs> Juliet. Juliet, sit down, honey. And so here we go. See, it looks like this used to be a manned station because there's like a little thing there. And we heard the train this morning going through Fernandina down under restaurant. There's a restaurant here if you uh, wanted to pull up and have something to eat, I guess. Or you come off a highway. It looks like there's also a boat launch right there. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, and there's people there. So this is, an, yeah. So there's active, uh, it's an active restaurant. Cool. I we wouldn't don't be. Know how people Here we go. Looks like they come off the highway. And here we go. Under. Hold your breath. Oh, God bless America. Holy shit. What? We made it. Oh, my God. We made it. Our mass is only 58, and the ICW is 63, but holy shit, that looks close. <laughs> okay. We did it! Yay! Oh, Captain, my Captain, we did it! Yay. <laughs> no, I did not doubt him. Oh, no doubt.
There we go. Awesome. We're on the other side. How are you feeling, Captain? We're in 15 feet of water. I'm feeling much better now. We were in about 5 feet of water about 10 minutes, or not 10 minutes ago, about 30 seconds ago. I was feeling a little nervous there. But we're doing good. We're just putting down the ICW. Um, we crossed the Nassau River back about 20 minutes ago and we're headed to St. John River. No. And uh, we're not going to make the marina tonight, so we're going to have to anchor somewhere along the way and then uh, try to get in tomorrow. So, uh, you know. Yeah, we Taking got our this. Take time. We're doing it. We're going to get back safe and sound, so we're all good. We're doing it the right way. Yeah. So. When it is time for us to get out on the open ocean, uh, we'll be far enough away from shore that we don't have that wash tub. Yeah, I, I think that was just, we were great until we hit the Cumberland River outlet, and then man, we hit that wash tub, and holy cow, it just spun us all around. So. Yeah, made the girls all nervous <laughs> to where now they have a little PTSD, so we're thinking we may have to wait a little longer before we get out there. Yeah. But I don't think our plans are changing, are they? I don't want to change our plan. Um, I'd rather stay the course if I can. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I definitely want to make sure that we do a good job of taking care of my crew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My girls are getting ready to go to a restaurant. They're going to be sick in three weeks. And they already know how to make themselves fancy. I watch you. <laughs> Mommy, can you buy this for me? Yes, I can. My sweet girl. I love you guys. So, we're going to be... Hi, guys. So, today we're going to go to a restaurant. Yeah, I got all makeup these Because I wanted to look fancy. And we're going to a Bristol Fun, a Bristol Fun, a, a, a Bristol Fun, yes! So, bye. <laughs> okay. This is our dot. See that? No more makeup. Let's clean up. Okay, please. Okay. Now I did it. Perfect. We left our transient dock north of the St. John's River while still in the ICW to continue our journey south to St. Augustine. We had another eight hours ahead of us and we were praying for a smooth ride all the way down. Along the way, we passed a dockyard for the US Navy. There was a small little sheriff's boat out front and we didn't film too much of this because we really didn't feel like having anybody come up upon us on the port side or the starboard side to ask us why we were filming while these ships, great giant Navy ships that protect our country, were being filmed. We are very close to the shore over there. We're still in the ICW, but this is probably one of the narrowest parts of this canal system, I'll call it. If we had our thingy, we'd be able to pull over an anchor, but we don't have our thingy. He's in a good spot. Yeah, he's off to the side. Off to the side, out of the And then you can tell that the salinity of the water is different, as you can see it bubbling there. Oh yeah, there's gators and crocs in this water. I'm not going to say that there isn't. So, even if we... Uh, had our dinghy, we wouldn't go to any beach along these shores and swim. I wouldn't let the girls do that. They or the dogs. They would be bait. We are very close to home. St. Augustine is right on the other side of this open bay. We were looking for some dolphins in the water, and of course, we missed them. So we're just enjoying the view and listening to the beautiful breeze. We keep missing it. There she goes! We 
made it back to St. Augustine. Now it's time to head back to the marina and revel in our adventure. Money is not everything. It's about spending time with your family, enjoying these little moments. <laughs> Be sure to watch next moments. week. Ah, there's a leak in the boat! Um, thanks for watching, Sub like and subscribe all day. Thank you for watching Gypsy Family Adventures. Follow along and come back next week to see how the adventure continues. I was just calling to see if you're free